So Shotcut is a video editor that I absolutely love using. It's free. It's an open source video editor. It combines a lot of everything I think a lot of people need, especially if they're just starting out. However, there's definitely issues with it. And so on today's video, I'm going to be talking about the top five worst things about Shotcut uh, from somebody who does use it to produce these videos on YouTube. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On this channel, you'll learn how to be creative and I'll teach you the tools you need to create. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel create more content like this. Now, before I get into this video, I do want to go over a few things. The first thing is the version of Shotcut that I'm using. So right now, at the time of this video, I am using Shotcut version 20.11.28. So if you are watching this in the future, obviously this is going to be an older version of Shotcut. So maybe these problems or these things that I'm showing you might not exist in future versions of Shotcut. So I just want to put it out there. And then the other thing is the problems we're going to be talking about here. These are my personal opinions from using this software. And so maybe if you're using it, you might not see these as issues or problems at all. And then the final thing is maybe what I'm showing you here is incorrect. Okay, that's the reality of it because maybe I might miss something or I might not know of a way to do this. However, somebody might have a solution to this. And so if you're one of those people who use the shotcut a lot and you found a solution to the problems that I have, be sure to leave that in the comments area below and that'll really help out any future videos I make on this subject. So let's go ahead and start off with number five. And this is something that is fairly simple in other video editors and it's almost like a default but for some reason the way they do it here in shotcut it's really cumbersome and it's kind of annoying and that simple thing is adding tracks to your project so typically in most video editors if you want to add a track down here all you have to do is choose the clip that you want and then you would just drag it down here and it would automatically add another track but within shotcut it doesn't do that you know, it actually only gives you the option of overwriting. And as you can see here, I added this clip, but it overwrote my existing clip or portions of it. So the way you currently do in Shotcut is you're going to have to add a track first. And so in this case, you would select this track. You could right click on your mouse, track operations, and then you would choose add video track or insert track. Okay, so let's go ahead and insert track. And now we have another video track. Now I could add my track. So that is the first issue that I have with Shotcut. And this is something that's really annoying because I think it's be a simple matter of if you're going to be dragging something down here, go ahead and automatically create a track. All right. So now the number four worst thing about Shotcut is something that I think could also be automatically done. And so that is dealing with stereo tracks. So let's say, for example, I have this clip right here. And on this clip, I actually have a stereo track. And you'll hear this right here. This is actually music from my desktop. So that's one track. But I also have another track that I recorded, which is from my microphone. And so within Shotcut, currently, it doesn't automatically split this to where you see both of the audio tracks what you have to do is you have to select the clip then you go to properties then you go to audio and here you could choose the track that you want so say for example i want to listen to the microphone track which would be the second track so i would choose number two and then it would change it change up, of course. And, I think it's using the... and as you could probably hear this is the actual audio track i had from my microphone and unfortunately, it doesn't separate this out automatically. In order for me to do this, I have to do it the manual way. I would have to right click on the clip and then I would actually have to separate, detach the audio. Okay. So now the microphone track audio is on this track. And then if I go back to the original track, then I could go to audio and then choose the first track, which has the music. And so now if I play it, See, it has, uh, you know, the tracks separated and I would actually have to adjust the volume as well. But on most video editors, 
once you bring down a track it will automatically separate the stereo tracks if it had it and so this is something that I think can be done automatically as well here in Shotcut. So number three on my list is something that is annoying and I'm not sure why they did it this way uh, but it basically comes down to adding transitions and the effect of that. And so let's say for example we have this clip right here and then we have this clip right here so I want to transition from one clip to another so I could simply drag it over and it overlaps and now we have our transition. So once we have our transition we can select it you could go to properties and then you could choose the type of transition that you want you know so really simple and straightforward there but the problem comes in is if you wanted to remove this transition right so if I select this transition and I delete it well it deleted a portion of this clip you know that's something that I really find annoying and sometimes it could really affect the overall project that you have because in other video editors whenever you do this when you remove the transition it doesn't remove portions of your clip so I'm going to show you that again so I'm going to move this over here let's just say a bigger chunk of it right and here's the really large transition and then when I delete it it doesn't restore whatever is underneath that transition so it removes a portion of this clip and it removes a portion of this clip and so I really don't understand why they did it this way and it's annoying uh, but at the same time it does affect the overall work that I have on my projects because now I can't recover those clips unless I drag down a brand new version of it and start all over again so definitely something that I hope they do fix in the future that it just make this whole process of using transitions a lot better so number two on my top worst things about shotcut is a feature that I really feel should be in this video editor especially if you're going to be working with more complex projects and that feature is the ability to group clips so right now within shotcut you can select multiple clips if you select this clip you hold down the control key and you select multiple clips you can now move this all around at once which is nice but the thing is what if you wanted to group clips together you know this could be really important if like say for example you had a video clip and it had a corresponding audio clip on a separate track so in this case shotcut currently does not have a way to group clips together so this can be a huge problem if you have a lot of clips that you want to keep together. So this example right here, I have a video clip and a corresponding audio clip, but you could have somewhere you have a clip that has the video, it has uh, effects, uh, title clips, uh, it might have other things like images as well, and you simply want to group all those things together. And unfortunately, this is a feature that currently is not available within Shotcut. And if you're somebody who works with, you know, all of these things where you're going to be adding uh, different audio clips, images, different video clips, well, this is going to be a problem because currently the only way you could move things around is you have to manually uh, select the group of clips that you want and then move them around manually. So you could easily see how not being able to group clips together is going to be a potentially serious problem for some people especially if they're working on more complex projects and then for others it's just something that is going to overall slow down your workflow and in some cases make it to where you can't create some of the videos that you want because it just takes you so much time to manually move things around if you value your personal privacy and data the NordVPN is a solution for you and this is the premium VPN service used here at Geek Outdoors with servers all around the world giving you the fastest VPN speeds and most importantly they have all the technologies and customer support available to give you the most secure and private internet browsing experience. For more information check out the affiliate link in the description area below. Alright so you've now seen my top four worst problems with Shotcut and so which one takes a crown? Which one bothers me so much that I had to put it at the top worst thing about Shotcut. Well, this is one thing that I feel is so simple in other video editors that I use, but in Shotcut, 
it absolutely affects the overall usability of this program. And what is that feature? Well, it's quite simply the ability to move your tracks around. So a good example is I have these three tracks, right? And whenever you add a video track, it adds it above whatever track that you currently have. And so in this case, I didn't want this clip above this one. And so here, you would think that you'd be able to just move this clip above it, right? Or move this entire track, but I can't. And the only thing I can do right now is I could move portions of the clip to the track, which is not ideal at all. Now, if you have a simple project where you only have a few clips down here in this track, that's fine. But if you're working with complex projects and you have effects, transitions, titles, all these things, manually moving each one of these clips to the appropriate track that you want is absolutely a horrible way to work. And this can severely affect the overall use of this program in general. And so this is something that I've experienced myself. And it absolutely boggles my mind that you're not able to move this. And if I remember correctly on older versions of Shotcut, I think you were able to move things around manually this way. Uh, like by, you know, moving the track up or down. But in this case, I currently do not see that option here anymore and I just wish that you could move this and the way that I like doing it in other video editors you just simply select the track and then you drag it wherever you want and so that is the number one worst thing about shortcut it's a simple thing but I really feel this is a huge problem uh, that affects I think anyone who's going to be doing video editing for the long term so just a quick update on this moving tracks issue even though you currently can't move your tracks around freely, you can insert tracks above the track that you want. Like say for example, you had these two different tracks, right? And I wanted to insert a video track above this one. You would simply select this track, right click on your mouse, go to track operations and insert track. And by default, it'll always insert a track above the one that you had selected. So this way you kind of do have a workaround uh, but it's still a really a pain in the butt if you had multiple tracks and you wanted to reorder or reorganize things. So there's still an issue there, but this is a slight workaround for this whole moving tracks issue. So now that you see my top five worst things about Shotcut, I do want to reiterate that these are my own personal thoughts and opinions. And this is in no way a reflection of the overall quality of this video editor because I feel that Shotcut is one of the best video editors out there and the fact that it is open source and it's free just really makes this accessible to a lot of people around the world, especially if you're just starting out and you wanted to learn how to video edit without spending tons of money. And at the same time, this is a video editor that you could grow with. And if you decided to do video editing in a more longer term or professional basis, this will give you a really good foundation. So that is it for this particular episode. If you actually had any thoughts on this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did like these shortcut tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description below as well. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Goal Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page and sign up for my Goal Content Creators Group. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.